<clears throat> Rope is dry. Be right back. Oh, far out. <clears throat> that cleared the throat. All right. Hi everyone, back again with another reaction video. And this one is All Quiet on the Western Front. Did I say the title right? I've been saying All Clear on the Western Front. All Clear on the Western Front. That wasn't right. <laughs> I was looking it up going, where is it? All Quiet on the Western Front. This is a World War One based film, I think, and it's in the German perspective. So I find that quite interesting. I think it's spoken in German as well throughout the film. So definitely have to read subtitles for this one. Um, but I'm very intrigued to hear this, to, to see what this one's like. It's, um, it won an Oscar. I, I can't remember what it won. I think it was like best soundtrack or something. So that's definitely promising. Um, I've heard a few people kind of somewhat compare it to Saving Private Ryan. So that's quite the comparison. Um, perhaps it's because how brutal it is. Um, I think the last kind of brutal um, war film I watched was probably Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, that's probably the most brutal one I've seen re that's come out recently, you know what I mean? Uh, I might be missing one, but I remember 1917 wasn't particularly brutal in regards to the blood and guts. I don't know what this is like, so I don't want to make assumptions in that sense, but... That's considering people were comparing it to Saving Private Ryan. I guess it's a fair assumption. But anyway, um, that's pretty much all I know about this movie, um, and I want to kind of keep it that way. So let's get straight into this. Um, it's two and a half hours, so yeah, let's get into it. No one's particularly recommended me this one, but I've been curious about it ever since it came out, and uh, yeah, finally got some time to do it. I wonder if this gets straight into the. Um, into stuff like Saving Private Ryan, because that movie did not fuck around. I think in the first, in the first five minutes, it was just insanity. I'm very curious, I must say, to see, like, a different perspective, because I do a lot, see a lot of just American, ex you know, perspective with um, war films. I think I remember watching one years ago called The Bridge. It wasn't that great, though, but it was in, like, a German perspective. Um, but, yeah, curious about this one. That's damn, for damn sure. That's nice, very quiet opening shot. It's cool, though. Kind of reminds me of The Revenant, actually. Mmm. Very nice. <laughs> Interesting thing to start on with these animals. Mmm. This is definitely giving me Revenant vibes. Oh, that's people. Jeez. And they're dead too. That was a very sudden shot to go to. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Alright, this is a cool opening shot straight off the bat, I must say. Yo. Kind of feeling a certain intensity already. Man, that's no man's land for you. Man, this is a nice opening shot. What the heck? Ooh. Man, this is very cool. I'm loving how this is being shot right now. Cool. Yeah, he's done. Ooh. Now he's got to go up where he just got shot. Oh my god. Jeez. You don't really have a choice. Like, if you run back you'll get probably shot by your officers it's pretty messed up man this is great i'm loving how this is shot good tracking shots right now well he's done damn done just like that i feel like it's i feel like world war one it was mere luck if you survived huh. you're just lucky that a grenade didn't land near you or a stray bullet didn't just take you out you know oh my god this is interesting because it's literally just showing one soldier's perspective is he even getting anyone, or is he just shooting? Is he digging himself a trench or something? Oh. Is he just gonna beat someone's head in with a shovel? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, what a start. It gave it a very personal feel straight off the bat, which I liked, because at first it had a slightly disconnected feel, how they were kind of just like, you know, the big top-down shot and then going down like this. It was kind of just like, 
going around saying, look, this is what's going on. But by going into just one particular character that was good or one particular person and just seeing his point of view, it made it more personal. And you kind of rooted for him straight off the bat because of just the insanity of it, right? And seeing that guy get shot down immediately, it straight away just made you go, fuck, you know, who cares? You know, English, German, it's like, this is just people killing each other. So it doesn't matter who's, you know, you're just following a character along, right? So I kind of like that straight away. That was um, interesting. Anyway, let's keep going. Is that the guy that was charging up before with the shovel? He looks familiar. Yep, just bury him in the field, yeah. Jeez. Whoa, what is this music? Did you hear that? I think I slightly heard some of this soundtrack. It's pretty wild. Huh. Okay. This movie looks good though. The lighting and all that and looks very nice. The cinematography as well, the camera composition and all that. This looks really cool. Just washing the blood out, huh? Using for the next soldiers, huh? Is that the idea? That's actually something I never considered. Like, they probably reuse a lot of the clothing. Ha! Huh, for new soldiers and that. Is that actually a thing? No way. Did they actually reuse fucking uniforms? Wow, I never actually even thought of that. This was never a behind the scenes thing that I even considered. <laughs> it's kind of like the whole thing. Oh, you think milk just appears in the fridge in the stores? Nope. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think of this soundtrack right now. It is very interesting. I haven't heard anything quite like it. It's it's quite unusual though, so let's see how it goes. Nineteen seventeen? That's the same um that's the same year that that film was, nineteen seventeen. Is that actually this the time of this film as well? Wouldn't that be a weird clash of movies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're doing something about faking their ages and stuff. Hmm. Because he wants to get in the war. I thought it was going to be great fun. Is that just drum beats? Is that in the street or something? Or is that actually just part of the soundtrack? Man, all these people look so young. It's insane. They might as well be children. <laughs> it is interesting to see this, because, like, we know what happened. Didn't work out how they intended, huh? <laughs> It'd be interesting if now they hard cut to the war. It's just, you know. You guys from Vim? No. It was recycled. I wonder if that's the same clothing of the guy that got killed that used the shovel. I wonder. <laughs> Some wild glasses. The, it's interesting to see just kind of the ignorance that they're walking into. Like they just don't know what the hell, you know, um, is coming to them. Hmm. Sounds very similar to what, uh, what's his name said in, um, Full Metal Jacket, the guy that was training him, you know, um, he was like, treat it like a lady, you know, this kind of, he said something like that. Yeah. It's like your special gun. I guess it makes sense. Cause if that doesn't work, well, you're going to be kind of screwed. Hmm. Interesting top-down shot. Uh, they're already starting to be like, oh, <laughs> it's getting interesting now. And how long did it take for these people to make these trenches? That was the fastest guns out back then. Hmm. 
geben Menschen macht. I said, I get the, gotta get the water out of the trenches, I see. Actually, wow, there's like quite a bit of water filling. I never even considered that, yeah, that the whole trenches could get flooded. And then they got nowhere to kind of go in. This is showing some things that I never even considered, you know, that you'd have to do. It's very interesting, I like it a lot at the moment. Oh, his aim's not bad. Whoa! Holy moly! He got his helmet shot off his head. Whoo! Well, at least the helmet works, hey. Buddies. Die da drüben haben auf mich geschossen. No shit. It's a war, son. Ich habe vorher gesehen. Im Zug mit dem Kopf ein. Wenn ich so Kugel nicht mit den Zehen fangen wollte, schlage ich vor, dass ich den geraden Zehen wieder links ziehe. Schießen, verlagern. Mm. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. Ooh, this was actually very Roger Deakins like at the moment, actually, with um, 1917. Has a particular look like this as well. Man, that's really cool. Whoosh. I wonder how much the actual trenches used to just um, cave in. Oh, wow. I really do, I think I, I don't know if I actually have a point like this on my list, but I like the attention to detail at the moment in this movie. There's just certain things that I didn't think of, you know, and even just that, like seeing that little detail with the dirt kind of coming through like that with the explosions. There's something really nice about the attention to detail in this film. Not for your phone. Direkt dahinter rückt die Infanterie nach. Oh, now they gotta get out there and start shooting. Hmm. Oh. Oh crap. Did anyone get left in there? I think there was a few. Wow, you are lucky, sir. Hmm. Yeah, I guess get used to it, huh? Jeez. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, that was his friend with the, oh, I wonder if he's, looks like he is dead. Hmm. This guy hasn't said a word since he's, um, no, oh, he's sobbing now, but he hasn't said a word since he got out of that, um, hole thing. Okay, I think I'm something like this soundtrack. It's very, um, oh, what's the word? It does somewhat fit the setting, especially at the moment. But more than that, it's kind of very, um, oh, I can't think of the word right now. Maybe we'll pop in as time goes on. The locations in this movie are really nice too, in parts, I'll say as well. Oh, wait a minute, that actor looks very familiar. I will say the color palette definitely does suit the setting. It does give me somewhat like the Revenant vibes. It's a very cold looking, which adds to the bleakness, but also just to the setting itself. Uh oh, someone's in trouble. And he got caught. <laughs> uh oh. Whew. Oh, I won't lie, that does look nice. They probably haven't eaten that good food in like a couple years. <laughs> Man, I love some of these landscape photography shots they do. They're really nice. 
It kind of gives you a nice break between all the bleak stuff. There's some nice cinematography.